Hi, I'm Jeff. Hi, I'm Olivia. Today we are taking a ferry and leaving the mainland behind and headed to Madeline Island, Wisconsin, where we will be enjoying a couple of nights camping in some lovely seasonally nice warm but not too hot weather and we'll be enjoying the views of Lake Superior. We're really excited and I get to celebrate my birthday while we're out here, so it's going to be great. Yeah, stay with us. It'll be lots of fun. Welcome, Welcome to, to Calico, Calico Adventures. Adventures. We headed up to Madeline Island in late July for our annual camping trip. It was a five hour drive one way. Madeline Island is one of 13 Apostle Islands in Lake Superior. The island was named after Madeline Cadeau, a daughter of the Ojibwe chief, White Crane. There's the uh, ferry over to Madeline Island. What'd you find? I found that we might as well just get the Wisconsin annual 38 for us, otherwise it's 11 a day. It is dusk here at Camp Calico, here at Big Bay State Park in Madeline Island, Wisconsin. And here we have our camp set up. Ooh, ah, wow. And here's one of our happy campers. What's on the menu tonight? Hobo dinners, which is ground beef, potatoes, onions, and carrots with a little bit of seasonings that you put in aluminum foil and cook over a nice fire like this one that Jeff just made. Not the little one underneath the camera. That's to keep mosquitoes at bay. It's doing its best. In our setup, we have not one thermocell, but we have two thermocell. <laughs> one by the fire and one by our tent. Shall we look at the rest of the setup? Let's go. All right, so here we have a good old canopy. The one we have, Ozark Trail brand, and yes, everything else is Ozark Trail because it fits with Ozark Trail. This is a good old fashioned 10 by 10 straight leg canopy you can buy at your local Walmart. And they are not a sponsor. They're not a sponsor. And then we have the sidewall here, which has Dishes, salt and pepper. I've got grill stuff. These are supposed to be garbages. We just kind of use them for not garbage because we have a garbage can. And this sidewall also offers us privacy. And we were thinking it would be awesome if they had also done the sidewall with the projector screen wall that they sell as well because then it would be perfect. You've got storage, privacy, and projector screen. Alas, we don't have the projector screen wall. Next up, we have the tent attachment. This tent very comfortably sleeps. Uh, us 
They could probably fit four if we really wanted to. If we want to peer in there really quick. We have some nice new sleeping pads you cannot see that we bought earlier this week because we learned the hard way we needed to buy them. And uh, this little tent works fantastic. And uh, we've got a tarp underneath it and a little rug that we bought one of the last times we came up to the North Shore. And finally, we got some lights. These will be a little bit brighter, but you can kind of see them on the back here. Uh, once the sun is set, we have ourselves some little battery operated lights. And this is our setup. We, uh, it's battle trust tested within the last week. Uh, we had to set up the canopy in the tent in the absolute pouring rain. Um, yeah, there was a flood warning while we were setting the tent up. How much rain fell? Five inches in about four hours. So it was pretty icky to work with, but luckily up here on Madeline Island, we've had nothing but beautiful sunny skies. Okay, I'm actually going to need um, another layer of tin foil really? to wrap around the other side. There we go. Delicious. All right, welcome to the Point Loop Trail. This trail is just a nice little trail that starts right where we this is. We are going to walk amongst the woods here and then join the regular Point Trail here along the coast of Lake Superior back up to a pretty cool spot that we ended up at this morning. So it's a nice simple one and a half miles or so. And we've got enough bug spray on that hopefully the bugs don't bother us, but uh, they've been kind of bad today. So hopefully we have a good trip. Let's go. I already have a mosquito. <laughs> Jeff is getting the perfect shot. We're not going to be able to stop too much though. I can see mosquitoes everywhere. All right, we don't want to do the cut across trail. Well, the woods walk was interesting. Um, 
let's just say we thought we had plenty of uh, bug spray on, but uh, we did not. So luckily we brought a can of bug spray and well, you can imagine what everything smells like now. <laughs> but luckily the mosquitoes seem to be leaving us alone. But we've reached the end of the Point Loop Trail. So we just kind of speed walked all of the Point Loop Trail. <laughs> now we are by Lake Superior. Uh, which we'll probably admire and get to walk along on the way back. One of the reasons we discovered Madeline Island is from my favorite uh, artist, Owl City, wrote a song about a time that he came up here with his parents about a decade ago. And one of the lines in there is, where the waves turn the cliffs into sea caves with every passing day. And uh, this is a great example of that. If you can see those boulders there, you can see that they're being weathered away by the, uh, the numerous waves from the giant lake. It's like everywhere we turn, there's just another stellar view of the lake and the shoreline and the water. That was a nice hike. We went fast the first half because we were basically running to get away from mosquitoes. Um, but the second half we stopped a lot and looked at a lot of the beautiful views. It goes along the, uh, the coastline of the island and it's hard not to stop and stare. And be there for the rest of the day. I just wanted to stay out there but... And we have a long drive back home. A very long drive back home. So what was your favorite part about this uh this little vacation my favorite part was how slow it went not not how slow we went but how slow the whole vacation went because a lot of our vacations it's like you know we go here we go there we go here we go there and it just boom 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 all quick real quick yesterday i was saying was the longest day in a good way than I've ever experienced, like in, in years. Mm -hmm. You know how when you're a kid, time seems really, really short, and then when you grow up, everything seems fast. Well, yesterday was like very, very slow. It was beautiful. This is my favorite part, I think, being here, like this, this spot right here. Especially, yeah, especially during the sunrise when there was nobody else. We came out at 5 a.m. I thought somebody else would come out, but no, nobody else did, and that was that was something. It was almost 5.30 exactly when we got out here and set up cameras and started taking pictures. And That was so soothing. I think this is probably my favorite vacation that we've done in a while. Although we were debating if uh, two nights counts as a vacation or if it counts as a, what do you call it? A getaway. A getaway. Um, let us know in the comments what you think. <laughs> well, thanks for coming along with us on another adventure, and we will see you next time. Why, hello there, Tina Tuna. Happy praying, kitty. We missed you, kitty. <laughs> I think she's happy we're back home. week with scenes from a sunrise at Big Bay State Park on Madeline Island. <laughs>